berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. <laughs> So one day you guys, jumping on the bay, jumping on the bay. Looks like somebody forgot to take their medication today. <laughs> so, I don't know how long this video is going to be, and I'm not going to say an approximation of time because it upsets Jaden a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so back to the topics. Um... I heard they're making new moon. Permit yourself a little new moon dance, okay? Um, and eclipse at the same time. I don't know, I'm hearing a whole bunch of different things, but I'm so excited for this because Katherine Hartwick, aka Crackhead, is not directing this movie. No offense, she was a terrible director. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're watching this, Katherine Hartwick, um, I don't really hate you. I just thought you could have done better. <laughs> I, I really hope she doesn't watch this. That'd be kind of suckish. <laughs> but, um, I'm really glad that I have a new director. I don't know who it is yet. Um, but I really hope they do a good job with the wolves. That's, like, all New Moon is. And they better do a good job with the Volturi. Volturi. I say Volturi. We can have a debate about that if you want. Um, so, they better cast those guys good or I'm going to be so mad. And they better do the wolves, like, epically huge, like... So my friend is going to go audition to be an extra in that movie. She's going to go to Oregon and audition for that. That's so cool. What if she's like an extra? <gasps> I want this movie so bad. Like, you don't even know how much I want this movie. I mean, I'm probably going to cry because every time I read it, I cry. You know. Um, chapters 4 through 17 are Edwardless. And I really want them to film, like, when they do Eclipse, I want to see the um, newborn seen in the clearing so bad like that's like my favorite thing in the whole saga like that whole epic battle and like the escalation of Bella and Jacob and then Bella and Edward and I really hope they show that and I hope they show Jasper's story because I'm gonna flip out and like show him being all like in his little uniform for Civil War and be like yes ma'am and they'll be like oh I like this one let's keep it Maria <laughs> sorry I'm just really excited right now um okay so I'm gonna get on with the questions and challenges and not say how much time I'm gonna do this for Jaden's sake. Um, so this is from Christy Kins too. I think that's how you do your thing. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> the question was, what do you think of Jacob and Renezme being together forever? Um, well, they're not really going to be together forever because once the vampires go away, the werewolves die. Like, Emphrium Black died because the vampires went away. So when the vampires go away, Jacob's going to die. I mean, that's not nice. No. But, um, I don't, I'm not a fan of the Jacob Bernesme imprinting thing. I think it's really sketchy, and for some reason, I think that this is worse than Quill's imprint on Claire, you know, the little two-year-old or whatever. Because this is, I don't know, it's just weird. I mean, I know Renesme is, like, advanced, but it's still kind of creepish. Because it's, like, Bella's baby. It's like, oh, yeah. How awkward would that be? Like, them growing up and, like, sharing stories. Oh, yeah, guess what? I was madly in love with your mom, and so I couldn't get to her, so I just used you. I mean, that's not really how it is, but, like, it's just so awkward. They'd be like, you love my mother? Yeah, I wanted her in my pants, too. What? I kissed your mother. What? Nessie's mom has got it going on. I think that's, like, a parody song. But how awkward would that be? Just, like, sitting there. And, um, the challenge? Ooh, gosh is to do, um, a Twilight interpretive dance. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna look like an idiot because that's what I do, but I really don't care if I look kind of, like, stupid doing things because I make an idiot of myself, like, on a daily basis. So, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna act out, well, I'll just explain it so you're not totally clueless, even though that's the point of interpretive dance, you interpret yourself. I'm gonna do vampire powers from... Volturi to uh, the Cullen's clan coven to like other coven's powers. I'm gonna like act those out in like a dance. So I'm gonna get some good dance music on and I'm gonna like 
get pumped for this. Oh, are you guys ready for this? This is going to be really embarrassing, but I'm going to do it. Well, I think we all agree that that was a very nice try. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that was me trying to be Benjamin with the whole like, <sighs> like Earth thing, and then Bella's shield, and then like Aro with the hand pedophile thing, and then um Alice, and then when I fell to the floor, that was like Jane. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> but that's how I do things. Um, what else is there to talk about? I think that's about it. Um, what else is there to talk about? Certainly, I am in at the same time. Okay, so my friend just dared me to make um, a Twilight Purity Christmas song thing uh, about Jasper, since she knows of my love and my um, addiction. So, on the spot, I guess, it's going to be to... I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> I like making an idiot out of myself, so just like, bear with me. Um, and I'm not trying to like be like pitch perfect. I'm just gonna sing it because it's an annoying kid singing it. So I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> I want a Jasper Hale for Christmas. <laughs> Only a Jasper Hale will do. I don't even know how the song goes. Um. Don't care about Emmett or even Edward. I only like emotion manipulators. I want a Jasper Hale for Christmas. <laughs> that was a good try, yet again. Um. Okay, so. I broke the candy cane. What? Anyway, um. I think I'm done, and that's the last time I'm ever gonna do that because that was really weird. Uh. My challenge for a spider monkey is, um, my challenge for one of you guys is to make your own Twilight character Christmas parody. It can be, like, one really retarded one like mine was, um, or it can be, like, um, what they would get for Christmas or what they're doing for Christmas, or just be like Shannon, be like, oh, Santa Claus, and, like, stuff like that. And so that challenge, um, I'm just gonna, like, go through this magazine here, like, because I don't have any other ideas, so that's a pretty good idea, Shannon. Film Fantasy, and it is, this is not going to work. Okay, I'm going to pull out my Twilight trading cards, and whichever one, each person, like each character, is a different day, so I remember which ones are mine in my head. Um, Wednesday, that's the way. Um, another Wednesday. Jaden! <laughs> That's you. No, it's not. So, um, make your own Twilight Christmas parody. It can be really stupid. Like, you want a Jasper Hale, but no homo. Uh, or just do whatever.